A major showdown in the Senate. Republican leaders making a last-ditch effort to avert a partial government shutdown as the clock ticks on a budget deal that is just hours away. Here now with where things stand is Senator Chuck Grassley, Senate Budget Committee member. So what's the latest? What can you tell us? Any movement? Any talks? Uh, the latest I had was about the time that Senator Schumer was leaving the White House. So the last group of senators I was with, uh, I have not had a report. But hopefully coming out of that meeting, because the Democrats support everything in the bill that the House passed, that we would uh, uh, move on, get it passed, not shut down government, uh, give an opportunity between now and February 16th to work out several things, still some budget disagreements that can be worked out, and then also for the DACA kids uh, to, to get that job done. But for Democrats to use the excuse of DACA to not vote for this bill, even if they had, uh, even if we agreed to do that, we don't have legislative language to do that. Besides, okay. uh, March the 5th is the deadline for DACA. Okay, so, so we've, we have heard that talking point. Um, you know, that there is no legislation to tack on at this point. So if that's the case, what's Chuck Schumer doing over at the White House? What do you think that he could possibly squeeze out of the president if there isn't legislation that's ready to tack on tonight? What, what kind of promise do you imagine coming out of that? I don't think the president can move one inch from where he was a week ago Tuesday when there was a bipartisan, bicameral group of 23 members of Congress down there with the president leading the discussion and about 50 different issues dealing with uh, DACA and immigration came up. We decided to bring it down to four issues, DACA, border security, uh, chain migration and diversity visas. And within those four is what the president has to have for a compromise, and uh, and there's and it is possible to get a bipartisan within that, and that's uh, the president's made it very clear that's where he is. So he isn't going to give up on anything just because uh -oh. he met with, Schu with okay. Schumer. So so we're just hearing now from Fox News sources um, that that. This is John Roberts, sorry, John Roberts saying that Chuck Schumer gave the president a list of demands that went beyond DACA. <laughs> what do you think about that? Oh well, uh, I think, first of all, Senator Schumer is a very smart uh, politician. Uh, he's going to use every tool he can negotiating, uh, probably an opportunity to educate the president about some things where he stands on them. Uh, but if uh, the Democrats agree to everything that's in this bill, you say it's a talking point? Yes, but let me no. repeat it. They agree to it. So for, forget about DACA. It's, we got March the 5th to work on that. Yeah. No, I didn't mean talking point as an insult. I meant that, that Republicans are unified on message, and we have heard so far today that they like everything that's in the bill. What they're trying to do is tack on something unrelated that, by the way, isn't even written, so it would be very difficult to yeah. tack it on. We all, you know, David and I watched live that meeting that you guys had where everybody seemed to be agreeing and making ground and we heard those four points that you mentioned that we you know it seemed everybody in the room agreed would be negotiated and it was on tape so no one can deny what happened in that meeting but still nonetheless everything fell apart after that why well because two senators one Republican one Democrat feel that they can reach an agreement that will that the other 98 senators will buy they went down to the White House it wasn't within those four points of uh, what the president had agreed to on Tuesday and you you can't uh, uh, you can't object to the president uh, yeah. rejecting that uh, and besides uh, everything that was negative coming out of that meeting when you have a private meeting with another senator or with the president of the United States it's okay to say what you said but you shouldn't be reporting what other people say yeah I mean, are, are you mad at the Republican who was in there at doing an end run around you guys? I mean, it's one thing for the Democrat to go around and head off to the president with something saying everybody agrees on this and it's not really true. But what about Lindsey Graham? I'm, whether it's Republican or Democrat, uh, you should abide by the pr principle that when you have a private discussion, you shouldn't tell other people about it. Oh, no, I meant about the, the bill when they got together and they said this represents what everybody wants and took it to the president. And really, that wasn't the case because it, it was a little it was like 24 hours before everyone figured out that that's what caused all the anger that happened no. in that meeting. Well, 
two people can't negotiate for 98 other senators. Right. I think it boils down to that. Okay. Sir, thank you. You might have a long night ahead of you, so I'm going to let you go. You should, you should eat some carbs, fuel up, get some coffee. You know, I hope you're wearing comfortable shoes. I'm sure you're very familiar with this. Uh, very much so. Thank you All very right, much. All right. Thank you, sir.